Hi, I'm Louise. I'm a professional history nerd and I want to bring you some of my favourite history facts through the medium of video. So for the few of you that follow my Instagram, you will have seen that during peak lockdown I was putting out these daily history facts. These videos are going to be very similar to that, although each video is going to be a little bit longer and definitely not daily. I will also most definitely be revisiting some of the same facts that I put out on my Instagram stories. Uh, that's because firstly, a rushed one minute Instagram story is not enough time to really delve into the, the nerdery enough. And two, because I just don't have that many facts. I can't, I can't be like wasting those facts. Uh, they're very valuable and I want to revisit them. So yeah, with that in mind, let's get on with the very first fact. So did you know that a bear fought for Poland during World War II? bear fought for Poland during World War II. Not only that, but he became corporal. He was Corporal Wojtek. And anyone that saw my video before will have noticed that I was calling him Wojtek. And that is because I am not Polish. But I've looked it up this time and it's Wojtek. Probably still butchering it, but let's go with it. He was adopted by a group of Polish soldiers when they were in the Iranian mountains in 1942. Story goes that they found a small boy with a with a bear cub that had been orphaned, and they they adopted this this bear cub. Um, not entirely sure why they didn't help out the child, but the bear was adopted, and off they went, and they ended up taking this bear to the camp with them, and he grew up there, and they fed him on milk and stuff until he was fully grown, and he would have been about over four hundred pounds, so Wojtek, so he was a big old boy. There's news reports of how this story is actually going to become an animated movie soon. And you could just imagine that this would be the scene in the movie where they're on camp and Wojtek is with the soldiers and they're getting up to all these crazy antics. Because apparently they did. Apparently there were antics. There was a story about him. He was wrestling with the soldiers. He would wrestle with the soldiers. He was meant to have caught a thief who came onto the camp to steal ammunition. And weird story about him stealing some women's underwear. Um, not, not appropriate. Not appropriate, Wojtek. But anyway, and also he was meant to have eaten their Christmas dinner. And you can just imagine him, like, them sort of in the montage of him growing up, getting up to these antics, and then, like, soldiers walk in and, like, oh, Wojtek. And he's like, Whoa. Anyway, so, yes, he grew up there and was much beloved and kind of became a mascot of, the, of this particular group of uh, Polish soldiers. He became private when they were trying to get across to Italy uh, to continue fighting the war, World War II, that was happening. But the, the ship was only meant to be for soldiers. So they were like, no, 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 this guy, no, he's not, he's not a bear, he's a private, he's private Wojtek. So on he went. And then he didn't really get his hero status until 1943 and the Battle of Monte Cassino. Yes. The Battle of Monte Cassino. The Allied forces, made up predominantly of the Polish, were trying to defeat the Nazi or Axis forces' defences in Italy. And there are reports, several reports, of how Wojtek it was, for some reason, in the front line, helping the soldiers, helping his soldier pals carry the ammunition around. So that's sort of what sealed the legend of Wojtek. And that's also why this particular group of soldiers, their emblem, emblemum, emblemum, that's not a word. So this is really what sealed the sort of legend of Wojtek. And it's also why the particular group of soldiers, the 22nd Artillery Supply Company, why their emblem, emblem? <laughs> Their symbol, their flag, their badge, became a, a bear with some weaponry, um, which was Wojtek helping them out with the ammunition, which I think is very cool. After World War II came to an end, he was, for some reason, they ended up in Scotland, and he uh, was retired to Edinburgh Zoo, where he lived until the 1960s, when, uh, when he sadly passed away, as bears do. There we go, that's the story of Wojtek. You have got to be a little bit wary when it comes to the history of Wojtek because it's such a lovely heartwarming story that people just like I think sometimes there's this 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 thing that can happen this mistake that can happen where you kind of will stories into fact if you know what I mean because they're just so lovely that you would believe anything about it like myself included you're just kind of a sucker for the story and it's a bit like if someone was to tell me that he just did a little dance and to distract the Nazis and that's how we won World War II I'd be like yeah yeah, that seems plausible, definitely. Um, but that's also being a terrible historian. Don't do that. But yeah, so there we go. That's the story of Wojtek. He definitely existed, uh, was the sort of mascot of the part of the Polish army. And it's meant to be a movie coming out about him. There's tons online, actually, to be honest. Articles, documentaries, uh, lots of YouTube videos. Give him a Google. There's, there's a lot out there. So yeah, 
that's my fact. If you like this fact, uh, give it a give this a like or or a thumbs up, whatever medium I'm putting this out on. And if there's any um, history facts you want me to revisit or any eras that you particularly like and you want me to dig out some history facts from there, uh, that was me digging out history facts, let me know and I will do that because I have many facts and I love finding more and I love sharing them with the world. <laughs> history facts! <laughs>